educate, unlock your limitless potential. Welcome to the rabbit hole prompt five, where I'm sure you will be electrified. Close your eyes and imagine the best version of you possible. That's who you really are. Let go of any part of you in opposition. The Art of Flow. I was struggling with my life's purpose. So I asked Aussie, the healer, a red freckled cattle dog that I've relied on for life's most difficult questions. What should I do to move forward on my path? Keep giving through service. Yes. My love language. How could I forget this? I need to speak my love language. I'm sure many of you have heard of love languages and how we like to give and also receive love. Learn what your love language is by clicking the link below. So, I excitedly proposed the idea to my mother who had been struggling with my extended stay in her guest room. It's never fun to be an unwelcome guest in someone's home. And my easy solution to a much deeper problem was to try and say thank you with service, my personal love language. And she offered several obstacles. I was waiting till you left to do this project. The fence might fall over. It's way too expensive to paint it. I'm not sure the condo association would even allow it. Instead of taking a f offense to these fears, <laughs> I continued to press and gather more information. I took my own need to feel valuable out of the conversation and instead decided to focus on why she was feeling so afraid of giving over this responsibility. While I anticipated her enthusiastic gratitude at the idea of me restoring the moldy rundown fence in her backyard, I was met with this diffusing resistance. It's obvious now that her receiving love language was in opposition with my showing love language. I was able to tap into her need of controlling things and I decided to transform the narrative about what needed to be controlled and explained that I felt like the fence. This helped pull her viewpoint from looking at the control dynamics between the two of us and offered her a less personal perspective. Mom, I am the fence, moldy and worn out, broken and splintered. Let me give myself a makeover. After a day to let her digest this proposal, I woke up to fence paint and a paintbrush. She seemed to be on board with this idea of restoring the new me. And after she began to see the beautifying effects of the project, she committed more paint and better tools. I learned a valuable lesson in the path of least resistance. Allowing her to give financially with gifts helped her to become a contributor to a project that needed to happen for both of us. My advice when entering difficult conversations is to take your emotions out of the equation and find the love language you are speaking. So often we find resistance because we forgot the simple step of evaluating the other person's perspective. 
I hope this helps you on your journey of finding flow and self-discovery. We can all learn from challenging obstacles and grow stronger through shifting our personal agenda to finding more common ground. This is the art of flow. Please subscribe and like the video if it helped you in some way and share a comment about your love language or a victory you've experienced using flow art. Until next time, watch the restoration take place. Watch me grow taller. Yeah, rabbit's watches in his pocket. Yeah, he stays late. But he leads me so I follow. Wandering around in Wonderland. Wondering how or if I'll ever get back. Wandering around. Prompt five for the Arts Collective is to restore something using one of the five love languages. You must research the five love languages and restore something, taking something that might be thrown away and use it for good using one of the love languages. I cannot wait to see the beauty that you create. Until next time, be the flow. And also, who are you? Make sure you know so that you can flow. Unlock your limitless potential. Be the flow.